Hello, my name is Evgenia Baranikova. I am an HPLC product coordinator at Shimadze Scientific Instruments. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the replacement procedure for the plunger assembly on a 40 series Nexera pump. You will need a plunger assembly supplied with a diaphragm and grease, a diaphragm jig, a syringe, an M4 Allen wrench, an M5 Allen wrench, a box driver, an 8mm wrench, and a 10mm wrench. Before you begin, place the reservoir with the mobile phase solvent lower than the pump inlet. This will prevent the solvent from flowing out of the suction tube or pump head. If the seal rinsing kit is attached, remove the cap from the rinse solution bottle and remove the rinse solution from the flow line using a syringe with a needle. Open the right pump door. Press the tab at the top of the filter holder and lift it out. Remove the panel cover by pressing the projection at the front of the panel and sliding it forward. Now you can begin the procedure by setting the right plunger to the back position using the instrument control panel. Using the keypad and arrow keys, select Function, Control, Plunger Set. Then press 2 and hit Enter. The right plunger should now be retracted as far as possible. To replace left plunger, press 1 and Enter. Now remove the stainless steel SUS tube connecting the check valve outlet to the pressure sensor. Start with the connection on the check valve. Hold the valve with the 10mm wrench and loosen the male nut of the SUS pipe with the 8mm wrench. Then do the same for the connection on the pressure sensor. Once the SUS pipe is loosened, lift up and remove it from the check valve side then pull to the right to remove it from the pressure sensor side. Loosen the peak fitting of the inlet line by hand and remove it from the inlet check valve. Now you can remove the pump head. Gradually loosen the two hexagonal socket screws using the Allen wrench and gently pull the pump head horizontally along the plunger. Once the pump head has been removed, now you must remove the pump head holder. Loosen top and bottom fittings and remove the rinse tube. Gradually loosen the two hexagonal socket screws of the head holder with the M4 Allen wrench. And then gently pull the holder out along the plunger. To remove the old plunger assembly, start by using the box driver tool. Then use your fingers once the assembly is loose. Attach a new diaphragm to the new plunger holder using the diaphragm jig. Make sure the diaphragm is positioned properly and does not get detached. Press firmly to secure the diaphragm to the back of the plunger holder. Apply the grease provided to the plunger assembly as shown. Be careful not to get any grease on the diaphragm or the plunger body. Insert the plunger holder into the pump body and tighten by hand until finger tight. Then finish with the box driver. Hold the tip of the plunger with two fingers and a Kim wipe and move it up, down, right, left, clockwise and counterclockwise to spread the grease evenly to the rear end of the plunger holder. Clean off the plunger surface with a Kim wipe and two propanol. Using the pump keypad and arrow keys, select Function, Control, Plunger Set. Then press 2 and hit Enter. The right plunger is now retracted as far as possible. Slowly and gently attach the head holder to the pump body. Insert the two hexagonal socket screws and tighten with the M4 Allen wrench, alternating between the left and right screws. Attach the rinse tubes to the top and bottom of the head holder. Now you can set the right plunger to front position. Using the pump keypad and arrow keys, select Function, Control, Plunger Set. Then press 1 and hit Enter. The right plunger is moved to the front position. Using a magnifier, make sure the plunger is centered and the gap on each side of the plunger looks even. Clean the surface of the plunger with a Kim wipe and two propanol. In the plunger set, press 2 and enter to retract the plunger. 
To reattach the pump head, hold it with the letter P at the bottom right. Then gently install it horizontally along the plunger. Insert the two hexagonal socket screws and tighten with the M5 Allen wrench, alternating between the left and right screws. Hand tighten the peak fitting of the inlet tube to the inlet check valve. Then connect the stainless steel tubing by inserting one end of the pipe into the hole of the pressure sensor and the other end into the outlet check valve. Press the tubing firmly into each port and tighten by hand until finger tight. Hold the check valve with the 10 mm wrench and tighten the nut of the tubing with the 8 mm wrench. Then tighten the nut at the pressure sensor side. Check the mobile phase flow and ensure there are no leaks at any of the connections. Finish the procedure by reassembling the right pump door. Slide on the panel cover until it clicks into place. Then replace the filter holder. For more information on Shimadzu LC instruments, visit www.ssi.shimadzu.com. Excellence in science. Shimazu.